got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I saw you die. Glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. Don't worry. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's dead. Let's go now. No. Wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. No, you can't. Stop and listen for once. Please. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Good. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. Not in the same sense. To back me up. Oh my God! No way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. He's no dead. He won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Oh my God. Excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Why? Why aren't you? No. No. Literally. How are you not paying attention to what I'm saying? You know I have powers that do this. Why wouldn't you immediately start listening to everything I have to say at this sort of situation? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I'm free one time! I was there. You know. Please tell me exactly what happened. Please. Yes! Please. Okay, here we go. He heard me. Jefferson, Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and... He killed him. And it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Why are you so stupid? She just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to- No. No, you're not. Too Chloe, dangerous. You can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. Woman! And I know you've got my back. Of course! That's why I'm trying to stop you! Okay, fine. Okay, it's all about... Power. Mm. She ha okay, it's all about saying the right things at the right time. Yeah, Nathan is dead as all hell. Okay, here's how I already know that. Let me tell you how it's going down. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this will help. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. Yes. With one bullet. Please no, don't. Not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. It's really kind of messing with my brain. So many. What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I've made horrible choices! up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time! I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? Yes! You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you you asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... I must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It's fine if you'll just believe me. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? 
I didn't. Okay. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? No. Not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? Because he saved life. He saved me. Okay. Yeah, listen. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. I'm so grateful David was there. As am I. your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. Thank you. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. We finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. I'll have to believe you. Okay, so did we we at least prevented this? That's good. Now we're talking to David. And he goes, everybody was kung fu fighting. Oh wait, no, that didn't happen. That never took place because he has other people. Good, 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 good. And then there's that there I am. Trying to stop all that. There we are, standing outside of the tornado. Okay, hi everybody. What I miss? Chloe, I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Horrible. Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. For now. So much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you I don't know, know if this is okay. We left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. Why would I say that? The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Yeah, self-pity really is not what we need right now. Hello! Sir. I don't think standing here would be a good idea. This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! But I saw a boat get tossed I, at it. Chloe. I've got your back, Max. Thank you! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm back in class. Yeah, 
What the hell? I am deeply confused. I'm certainly considering it. Uh, this is like what, the seventh time I've had to hear these exact words? Be calm and don't freak out. Nice Ferris Bueller reference, though. Thud? Thud? She saw humanity as torture. What's going on? Nobody even cares. All right, yeah, I am not in a time loop. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment. I don't know what's going on, but it's not normal. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? I'm beginning to think we might have. I think we might have destroyed space time. Plus, all that blood is gone. Oh, hello. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. And it took a lot of effort to accomplish such things, so don't you dare. Not yet, you bastard. Mm hmm. All right. I'm in, I think I'm in one of those battles in the center of the mind. I think I'm, I'm not in a time loop because, see well, Max see, well, yeah. Think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Y'all ain't even real. So what are we going to do about this? I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? All right, let's no see. Way I'm saying that. No way. Yeah, why would I say most of these things? It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Wait, what? Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. What is happening? It's like you're doing both of us an awesome. Thing. I thought that was sarcasm. I can never appreciate you the way I would. Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine. All of those were going to lead to this. Oh, now he's gone. This can't be real. I don't believe it. I do believe our brain is literally caving in on itself, and we're trying to fight and scratch our way back to reality. I think abusing time just might have completely obliterated our brain. We're seeing and hearing and putting together things that we think are real. Are... Are you mourning yourself? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You what? never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Our brain is, 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 it's ripping itself apart, trying to turn falsehoods into reality and our insecurities and our second guessing of our decisions. And we're even wearing the outfit from the beginning. Oh my God. Who's in here? Oh my god, am I in PT? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Open up the doors now, open up the doors. Oh, yep, yeah. okay. Okay. Oi, oh, hang on a second. Hello! Yeah, I need to find a way. Keep messing up. How many times does Clay have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better. To actually, you know, have a life. Find my cat pics, please. My heart is broken. Always take the shot. Take a selfie. Ho! Oh, let's see. Yes, you're running out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Why do you want to kill everybody? Why did everyone go to you? Interesting. Hello. What? The I have a message from Pompadou? Do not mess with Frank. Or me. You got a snack? Yeah, okay. I'm not entirely certain how that works, but, um... Good evening. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. 
He doesn't own a phone. Pompadour is a dog. Yeah, okay. If if I wasn't already pretty sure that I that I was in some sort of hellscape within the confines of my own brain, that kind of puts it all together, don't it? Oh, it's Rachel Amber. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Ah, ominous. I'll shoot with Jefferson. Captured you if you want to... Okay, interesting. We have surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There is no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me, you hear? Interesting. Oh, a key! Give me that key! A key to what? Oh, a key to 218. Alright, let's see here. Which one's 218? That's 223! That's an entirely different number than what I want. 218, 218, 218. That's 220. That's 221. That's 219, so I would have to go through this door. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to just keep going through doors until I can find it. Going through a never-ending hallway loop. Oh, oh, no, there's 217. There's 218! Oh! My outfit changed. Okay... And lots and lots of missing posters. Now we've got Chloe monologuing. It's ringing inside our ears. We just kind of got to keep going through doors. We got to keep... We got to hold our thoughts together. What small semblance of reality that's left is... I am now Victoria. Do I have anything new? No? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Wow. Or Victoria equals skank. You suck Victoria. What? I... Huh. This is odd. I appear to be... Have I gone so crazy that I'm experiencing the delusions of other people have if they had gone crazy? Is that how the world works? Okay. This is next level weird, let me tell you. I'm just reliving the past over and over again. See, this is why you don't mess around with time. Let's check the bathrooms! The bathrooms are a lie! There was never a bathroom to begin with. Let's take a look at the map. Nope! Nothing happened. Oh, wait, maybe I should be going into Victoria's room specifically. Let's see. Sad face indeed. Sad face indeed. Alright. This can't think of any other door that would make sense to go through. Yup! And I am back. Hello. Okay, alright. Now there are photographs everywhere. Literally everywhere. Indeed, yes. Very, very apropos. I understand this. Ah, I see all of the, the mental slates have decided to do this. This makes sense. This is most certainly not bad. Oh, hello. <laughs> Well, the question of the day is, is this due to me being insane, or is this potentially the result of me destroying time and space? Is this currently reality? Is, is this the... The sick, broken, twisted version of reality that I've created? By my tampering with time and space? Okay. Wow, everything- yep, everything is backwards. All of my thoughts, completely backwards. This is truly something else. Whoa, what the? 
Wow, I do. Like, even the song from before is backwards. Like, the deer! Okay, well, guess it's time to go into the bathroom and see what happens here. Something absurdly insane, I'm sure. Oh. Isn't this... I will not do that. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. Alright, just gonna... Move along now. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Well, that's good for you. Doesn't really do a whole lot of good for me. To your spark, Max. I thought I could Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Unlikely. Also, I don't even seem to be on the bright plane of reality anymore. There's no ground to walk on. Am I just... Look, I'm not really in the mood for a psychological investigation right now, okay? I'm kind of just gonna try and fight my way back to whatever reality actually is at this moment in time. No! You did not see me. Yes, I'm sure you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, just keep on walking, keep on walking. Good evening, Blackwell. Look out for anything that resembles. And I'm here to drop the mic on that cop. What? Okay. I regret to announce that one of your fellow Yeah. Okay, you, uh, you go ahead and do that, delusion. Exaggerated portrayal of a person I know inside my own psyche. Where are you? Max, come out to play. That be Warren. Play. Dang it, even in my brain he's making movie references. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go ape? Everybody wants to go ape. Wow, this is pretty crazy right now. Keep walking. Keep. Just admit that you're jealous of my Admit it. That doesn't make any sense. Stop, Max. Damn it, Dream Nathan. Okay, just keep walking, just keep... Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Thank you, delusions inside my head. I am not. I can safely say with 100% certainty that I'm not. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm awful, I'm terrible. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Dream Frank. I assume that's Frank. That sounds like him. Okay, well that certainly just turned down the tension a couple notches. I sure you don't think we're buddies now. Holy crap, they actually had that happen. I mean, to be fair, those were his beans, and he was eating them. And I just callously threw them on the ground. What the? Bottle? Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Is, th is that the game making fun of how difficult that find the bottle section was? You're just like a zombie model in the dirt. Just bone, meat, maggots. Oh, I would be all over that shit. 
Interesting. This game is getting meta in ways that I was not mentally prepared for. I feel I should point that out. Oh, hey, I'm walking normally now. Ah, a bench. Sitting on this will surely have no negative repercussions. And the snow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just my brain and not actually reality. I'd very much like to just... Oh, I'm in a snow globe. A snow globe like the one I didn't break. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. Your mom's one. Ah! I'm in a snow globe. Inside of this moment in time. Gotta give the game makers 100% pure kudos. This is exactly what a vivid dream or nightmare is really feels and looks like. You just kind of phase in and out of places you've been with faces you've seen voicing thoughts that only could have belonged inside your head. And when you're inside such things, it all seems real, even though it's so absurd. Like, in five hours, when I crash. Oh, hello, me! How are you? I took them. Aye, 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 aye. No promises. Oh, oh! Hang on, I got a message. Would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Ah, can do. Thank you so much for that. Good to have that. Thank you, brain. It's it's nice that my frigging phone is even fighting against me at this point. Oh, hello. How long will this nightmare go on? Now I'm back here. Again. Definitely not. Hang on. Let me check to see if I still have a message from the dog. Yep, I do. All right. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on Retro Grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ! I know. And she never shuts up, does she? Well, most of my thoughts are. So uh, over her hipster bullshit. Again, it's inside my brain. Every Let's prove it. Self-doubt and insecurities being projected into people we know. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust the move. Fascinating. Okay, let's see. God damn, you're a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? This is an extraordinarily trippy experience. Oh, Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. I can't. My arms are bound. See, oh. this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. This is really weird. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Can I break free of this? Look, I don't really know what my brain is doing right now, but it's confusing. Oh, hello. You don't even know how to use them. It's true. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Hello. Come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Well, that's the presenting theory. Hello, and now I'm back here. It always comes down to a public restroom. Okay, well. That was fun. And I am locked inside a bathroom. And I do not... Oh, hello. Oh, weird. Okay, can't switch the pages. 
I don't... If you're, if you're... Look, game, if you're expecting me to, like, remember the code I was supposed to... Oh, they're, they're everywhere. Great. Numbers are all over. How will I find the right code? Well, I'm pretty sure we're in the moment in time in the game where we're not actually expected to be able to do much of anything. So, you know, let's just keep throwing in random numbers until something changes. There we go. Just da, 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 da. I refuse to believe this game is actually trying to make me correctly get the number. There's literally a billion of them. Oh, yeah. Why is that? So you'd think that the one that does reflect would be the right one. But I do not see such a thing. Interesting. Look, I'm clearly in a warped, twisted reality right now. I wouldn't put it past me to be able to be flushed down the toilet. I think that would be a much more productive way of going about this. Or the hand sanitizer displayer machine thing. I don't even know what you call those. Okay, well, it's not like I can... I don't see any of the messages. Oh, wait, hello! 0311. Oh, well, there you go, then. Okay. 0031. Okay, I guess I got that wrong. 3100. Also wrong. Okay. Let's take another look. Uh, oh! Zero, th it wasn't three, zero. Oh. Okay. Zero, three, one, one. Zero, three, one, one. Come on. It's not that hard. There we go. How did I get it wrong the first time? I'm stupid. Don't worry. All right, what's next on our little adventure? Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Interesting. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now at least you're... Die alone. Well, well, at least you have your beans. I hope you do the right thing. I can't I hope. you kiss me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? That's not something I plan on doing. Exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. Anyone else want to talk to me? So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. You're welcome. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Breaker, breaker. Thanks for saving me and carrying the load, good buddy. That's you're, a big for. you're welcome. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. Why did this suddenly like? First, it was insults. Has my husband a new baby? We'll have to go without me. Don't let the squirrels die. I don't want the squirrels to die. Had been friends, Max. But please. Don't let me die like this. I don't want I'm to. Still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Huh. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks. Not by choice. Oh, Max. What exactly was the point of saving me if you're gonna let me die? Why are... Why does everyone think I'm gonna kill them? I hope you can live with yourself after this. finally have our tea session. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family. Just so I can end up here to die. I don't know why people think they're going to die. My waffle! Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Trippy! Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? 
Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Not really. Twist time around your fingers. Not my plan. I mean, I mean, I was, uh, yeah. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. Didn't I work out. Wanted to be popular. No, definitely not. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I don't see how that makes any sense. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. Fair enough. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I don't think I am. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. Not no, by it's choice. Not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Like Wait, what? Let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe. You think she's worth all that? I mean, life is life, y'all. We all are. This isn't about Chloe or even me anymore. Gosh. You're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Guilt tripping me than you do, because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm syndrome. Huh? But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way, like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. You're honestly I just annoying. Worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Really? Max. How? I really think she's our friend. That she respects us in any way. No clue, really. You are so stupid. I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh. Oh hell, speak of the devil. Okay, let's see where this is going. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, we're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. We're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a trip down memory lane of our adventure so far. Feels appropriate, I suppose. Definitely didn't see her showing up to, like, defend me against my own personal, like, self-representation of doubt and hatred. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. This song, this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. I know. I know. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Let, let's talk about your superpower. Epic. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. My power is pretty crazy. No, oh, hey, that's when I passed out in the junkyard. It suits you. Oh, hey. Save me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Can I walk through this? Since nope. you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My, my, my. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. No, seriously, was that a loop in the third reference? I remember everything that's taken place. The question is, how does this end? I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Photobomb! Photohog. I mean, if I keep walking, I gotta get to the present. Sorry, not that easy. Reliving literally everything. We could, and yet we didn't. I think I'm stuck. Did I go the wrong way? 
Oh, there we go. Never mind. Sorry. I've never been down this road before. Yes, you are. Weird. Hanging out with you again. Yeah. You want look, you want to talk about weird? How about you walk down the path I'm walking? Oh, awesome picture. You look so badass in a pirate Chloe. Yes, very, very depressing. We know. Oh. I'm just Ah. Kate wasn't the first. I know. I remember all of these events. Ah. I think we're finally actually making it. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time to go back. Here we go. Reality! Hello! That took a while. No promises. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. I really don't see how we're protected from this where by where where we're standing. What just flew by? All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn time master, but you're Maxine Caulfield, and you're amazing. I appreciate the boost in confidence. I see. I know what this is. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe... I can't make this choice! No, Max. You're the only one who can. <sighs> hmm. 
What do you want me to say? I mean... Honestly. It's a... It's, it's a truly, genuinely messed up situation. And much like everything I've done up to this point, nothing really has a clear-cut answer. That much is plainly obvious. But the thing is... Even if we left... If, if Arcadia Bay really got destroyed, even if we found somewhere else to go, what's to say it, it, this isn't going to all happen all over again, constantly, forever, just because of how we've been messing with time and space? How many people would we sacrifice just to keep one person alive? And for as rough around the edges as she is, I mean, Chloe definitely has proven herself to be pretty much as loyal a friend as you could ever dream of asking for, really. And I don't want anyone to die, but at the same time, I can't. Sometimes in life, bad things happen. Every day, something terrible happens to somebody out there in the world. And I think we all wish we had this power. The power to just go back and tweak things so that everything works out okay. But this is the most accurate portrayal of how something like that would go. It seems like you're not changing much, but keeping somebody alive when they were meant to go changes so many things. There's a person who isn't supposed to be here doing things, changing the timeline with every small action they have. And ultimately, it doesn't it, it's hard to truly understand the scope of that. But it's just, it's not the way things are supposed to be. Nobody wants to lose a loved one. Whether they be parent or friend, or pet, or anything. We all wish that there was no such thing as tragedy, and that everything could possibly just work out on its own. But... Everything would be perfectly happy and fine for all time, and that would be great, but... Sadly, that's not the reality we live in, and it's never going to be that reality. Throughout the course of your life, you're going to be met with so many obstacles. Whether they be physical, mental... You're going to hit... So many of them, no matter what you do. It's how you get through them that defines you and the people around you. You can't change fate. You can't change destiny. If those are, the, if those are things you believe in, then those are the way they go. And like I said, if I sacrifice this place, things are just going to keep unraveling. And could either of these characters really, truly live with themselves knowing that they let so many of the people that they knew and loved down the, in that town die? Is that the kind of life Chloe would even want to live? I don't think it is. And at the end of the day, it's her life on the line. And she herself said that she was okay with this. 
And I'm sorry that I have to do it this way, but... It's just the way things need to be. I'm sorry. I really, truly am. Max? It's time. Chloe! I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much! Forget about me. Never. Sometimes there is no happy ending. There's just the ending you get. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I'm sorry. I am so sorry.
What do you want me to say? <sighs> I... I really don't even know where to... I, I don't know. I've never been good with words, but... Yeah. Sometimes... There just isn't a happy ending. Sometimes there isn't even an ending. It just... Keeps going. Life can be cruel. Life can be sad. Life can be joyous, wondrous. It can be sad. It can be... Anything that you let it be. At the end of the day, there's no one you're in control of but yourself. The path you walk down is your own. However you choose to do it, do it with everything you have. Do so without regrets. Do so without ever living in the past. But never forget the past. Let it fuel you. Let the past be what's keeping you going forward. If any of that... <laughs> if any of that even makes any sense, I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've never been one for words. This was a good game. Although I suppose, it was really more of a somewhat interactive experience. It's a very unique type of game that you really only get once. And this is the path that I chose to walk down. And for all it's good, all it's bad, Everything in between, I hope you enjoyed it. Going on this little bit of soul searching with me. The people behind this game, they had a they had a message that they wanted to tell, and I think they got I think they got that clear. So I doubt anybody who was ever associated with this game will ever even be vaguely aware of anything I ever say or do, so I suppose congratulating them and thanking them for the experience would ultimately fall on deaf ears, as is the case with most of these sort of things. I'm just a small little grain of sand in the corner of the internet. A very small few even know I exist. The small few watching this video right here right now, I guess. I must mean something to you guys if you're still here listening to everything. That's the effect I have on the world. I can I can brighten a day for a few moments. And if that's really all there is to me, then I should count myself lucky that I even have that. Yeah. I suppose I've trailed on long enough. Hope you guys had a good time. I have been the Max of Few Trades. And I will see you next time for a brand new Let's Play. Until then, take care of yourself, okay? If not for you, 
than for me. I'll see you then.